Caribou Coffee's Finest. S'mores Coffee. Marshmallow, dark chocolatey goodness. A great way to start a minus 10 degree day. Up here in Minnesota, welcome everybody. I am at a casino called Jackpot. I think it's called Jackpot Casino in Morton, Minnesota. I'm here for a special event tonight. Uh, my company is doing a driver of the year thing and I guess I'm nominated to possibly be the driver of the year. Doubt it's gonna happen. I'm up against three other people. We'll see. I mean, I, I, you know, out of the hundreds and hundreds of drivers we have being in the top three or four and possibly being nominated for driver of the year, it's a pretty cool, cool thing. Never happened before in my life. Uh, so I'm going to take you guys on that adventure. Also, my company was kind enough to get me a hotel room within this casino in the middle of nowhere, Minnesota. So I'll give you a quick room tour and then maybe a swimming pool because it is minus 10 degrees outside. That means I need to go swimming. So you can watch that. And then tonight's festivities. Get a little bit of that. And uh, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm prepped. I have the proper clothing. I have my swimming attire ready to go. And uh, hey, let's go check in. I'm ready. Oh, it is so cold outside. So cold. I'm really hoping that they're going to let me check in three hours early because I just need to get out of this. Out of this weather. I don't know how these guys do it. They sit out here year round, barely dressed. Made it into my amazing hotel room. Well, it's, a, it's free. My company paid for it. Where do I hang? There's no closet. This is the first hotel room I think I've ever been in that's never had a closet or drawers. It's nice. It's got a beautiful view. I mean, it, it's a snow covered roof outside. You can't beat that. It's actually pretty nice. The room is clean, I can say that. Just no closet space that I could see. Nice looking two beds. I get both of them. Steph's stuck in a truck, is sleeping in the truck tonight. Where she belongs. Yeah, normally when you walk in the front door, there is some sort of closet right there where that mirror sits, but nope, nothing. Just bare bones in it. Oh, well, instead of the closet, I guess you can hang your stuff right there. Single sink, coffee pot with some coffees, a hippie, and a separate a shower and tub. Very basic, but clean. The issue I have at the moment is check-in. So when you come to check-in here, they don't start letting you in until 4 p.m which could be a hassle when you're supposed to be at a banquet dinner starting at 4 p.m. Doesn't give you much time to get in and get a shower because the same time you're taking your shower and everything, the banquet and open bar, which is the most important thing, is already started, which means it's time for me to hop in that shower real fast, do some facial maneuvers with the razor and uh, start heading down the hallway to wherever the banquet room is. I'm, I'm excited, a little bit nervous, you guys will probably see that on camera later this evening. Anyway, let me go wash up and do something I rarely do. I never, I, I mean, in the army, we starched things. We starched our clothes to make it look super nice. And then you just ran a, one of these things over it and it made everything tip top nice looking. But here in the real world, you don't need to do that. You have to put water in these things and try and figure them out. And it's been, I haven't been in the military in probably, God, 1991, I think is when I ETS'd. So it's been a long time since I used one of these. I'm gonna heat it up and I'm gonna do my clothes because I'm gonna look sharp when I get to that ballroom. I think it's hot fast. <laughs> I had stuff stuck in a truck, locked in the truck. She found my room. Oh my God. You don't? You don't have your face on yet, neither. It's getting there. It's getting there. If only you were the housekeeper. 
Why didn't you do this in the truck? Well, I can see. I mean, you're looking good now, so it's okay. So the things you have to do before going to a gala, a truck driving gala, I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. I'm excited. Like I said, a little bit nervous, but Steph is almost ready. She is my plus one tonight. It was a toss-up between her and calling Tommy Travels and making her stay in the truck. But uh, Tommy's like an hour and a half away. She's already here, so you get what you get. And you don't throw a fit. And you don't have a fit? Oh, don't throw a fit. I'm pretty happy. I think we're going to have a good time. We're going to go down and eat. Steph is looking fantastic tonight. So we'll just have to see how the evening goes. And uh, yeah, inviting you to tag along. Let's head out. Okay, where we're going is on the second level, and I think this is the right one. Watch, look at that. Look at the entrance to this lobby. It's pretty nice. And I think our destination is somewhere down that long hall. Now, I was looking at the paper. I thought, well, the gentleman downstairs says we can start going in at 4 p.m. It's almost 5 now. And I was looking at the little paper thing, and it says 6. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I don't know to listen to the guy downstairs or whatever. So we're going to head down here, see if we could find the room, see if anybody's in there yet. And if not, I might go throw some money in a slot machine or two. Maybe stuff stuck in a truck would be my good luck. Don't know. She might be. She might be. Okay. So we are going to be going into the Grand Eagle Ballroom. And uh, I'm going to cut in front of Steph and let's see what this place is going to be looking like. Oh, wow. Would you guys look at this? Have to show the internet. We got an open bar. Ooh, and tips are appreciated. Why don't you look at this? Hello. Hello! Look at this amazing place! Now is there, are we supposed to, are we seating at, or do we just sit anywhere or? Uh, I believe so, right? How did sit anywhere? Is it just sitting anywhere or did you guys put name tags out? No, no, you get to choose where you want to be, brother. Oh, wow. I want to be closest to the restroom. <laughs> I'm kidding. Where do you think that out? <laughs> Where I could run. Or where you're supposed to sit in the car. Would you guys look at that? These are the awards given out tonight. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. But they do have an open bar. There's going to be some food tonight. And we got some fantastic tables. And it looks like we're a little bit early. So, like I said, let's go play some slots. Well, got a $20. I like the old days where you got money and you had a coin bucket and the waitress would come around giving you beer and stuff as you play. But uh, yeah, I lost a little bit, but walking away with a fresh $20, just nowhere to cash it in. They don't have no machines anywhere. So I'm gonna use this piece of paper as tip money for the unlimited drinks at this bar. Gotta, gotta tip your waitress. I'm just gonna hand her a ticket from the slot machine. We have our we have our seat, we have our location, and we're semi close to the door. She has a drink. I have. She's having real drinks. I'm having wine. Cheers. Cheers. Kind of wanted the wine in the bottle, but uh, yeah. So <laughs> I'm not allowed to drink that. You're flying. I'm driving. <laughs> so we're here. I we decided to sit closest to the food supposedly like three or four different course of meat and I'm excited about that this is what's going on tonight we have uh, this is the distinguished driver of the year banquet and uh, on the back here it says uh, everything that, oh hold on distinguished drivers of the year winners it shows the winners of the past if you guys can see that. That's your competition. You have to be at least as good as those. I wonder if we get a, a, a picture on the wall at work or 
at, at all the yards around the country. That would be really cool. But uh, we dedicate this evening to the award winners that have displayed the leadership and values that make this company great. We thank everyone for their continued hard work and commitment to cocky trucking. And that's not just the drivers, that's the mechanics, dispatchers, everybody else that can't be here tonight. So I'm, I'm honored to be able to sit at a pretty beautiful table and be at an awesome banquet. Steph's, Steph's stuck in the truck came in handy just now. I don't have to get out of my chair. Just found out there are door prizes we have to sign up for. That would be fun. Kind of cheating though because she signed me up for a door prize and herself, so we got two chances to win. Watch it, watch it. We could win a flashlight or something, or maybe a cocky t shirt. Can never have too many cocky t shirts. You want to help me with the presentation of the award? Oh God, this is nerve wracking. First up, Mike and Serena Lopez, the Gender Award of Excellence recipients for the first quarter of nominations for the award their nominators said the following this team continually displays a very positive can-do attitude regardless of the task given them okay. they approach it with a positive spirit and enthusiasm second to none they are the epitome of bleeding blue congrats mike and sabrina don't say my name don't say my name don't say my name john johnson the gym during award of excellence recipient firstly yay yay Thank God. I do not want to hear my name. His dedication and look to get her drivers that oh always God. approaches each task with a we will now. succeed attitude. He exemplifies what a good American trucker should be. Congrats, Glenn. No, 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 no. Derek Johnson, Jim Curry Award of Excellence recipient for the second quarter of 2021. His level so is never late. If you need something. him to do something, all you need to do is ask him. Oh my God. Rick Sayre, Jim Curry Award of Excellence recipient for oh the third God. quarter of 2021. Rick's nominator said, "Well, thank I have you, been thank you. Customers in Florida, <laughs> everyone has been had wonderful things thank to you. say about Rick. Oh, a great attitude you guys are the best company, company in the world. I swear." <laughs> Congrats, Rick. Thank you. Well, thank you. My God. It was it's, it blew, man. I was so excited when you guys texted and said Stephanie stuck in her truck is over there uh, telling stories of horror stories of customers. I will show you guys what we got going here. We got ourselves a steak and a pork chop. It looks like. They had an amazing looking chicken, but I did not get it because for those that know me, I do not eat chicken. I try not to. Hey, come to find out, that wasn't the end of the ceremony. That was just the quarterly stuff. They're doing driver of the year, and everybody that got an award is nominated. And I am hope, really hoping they don't call my name. No, see that it says record. Do it again. All right, so uh, I'm gonna finish my dessert, and I guess in just a second they're gonna be doing driver of the year 2020 and 2021, or is this 20, 2021 and 2020? And I could be up for it. I could get two company t-shirts if I'm lucky. And Michael, where you at, Michael? So on, on the board you back are, there, they got, we, we are you live are streaming all the way down to Florida. And those are the people in Florida. Like, I know I some of them. Now for 15 years, my balls are and uh, it's kind of nice. They're, this is being simulcasted. If that doesn't set the tone, it might not be as good as your arms or tires for flying in, but that is all I got. <laughs> Presentation of awards. These anniversary awards are uh, achieved by tenure. Some of you are here longer than this, but you haven't achieved the next tier yet. So if you're announced for a five-year, 
and you've been here for seven, the only reason you're on the five-year list is you're not 17 yet, you're not 70 years yet. So, that being said, answer oh my from God. back there. So oh my we'll God, oh my God, oh my God. We got more awards. We're, we're either going to wing it or i got to think of a fourth joke, and I, I thought three was pretty good. good. <laughs> What? Whoa! Really? Oh my God! I love you guys so much. Thank you. Hey, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I was. I see everybody over there. Left out otherwise, dude. Thanks, man. I love you guys, man. Thanks. Love you. Too, Thank you. John Taylor. Wow. What the heck? Oh. Every time we're going to have to move right to the front table. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Another one. We're going to move on. we got a 15 year to celebrate the video for all three. Lifetime. Are you ready over there? Lifetime. I hope so. All right. So we're going to see if we can screw this up with the best of them. Okay. I'll say my comments for the end. First up, Len Lockmeyer. Unique spot to be in a spot where my mother never got to see this event, and my dad only got to see a few, and now many of you know neither. And all of their wonderful traits are being lived out through Kurt and Corey, and their honoriness and discipline and oftentimes all the bad traits are lived up through me. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, my mom and dad were special. They taught us how to work hard. They taught us what we didn't know was defined as bleeding blue rise at this time. Somebody tell you they're they're going to give it their best, 
Um, and uh, he always comes forward with that. Hardworking, honest guy. He might not look like it, but yes, he's very hard. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, he uh, Let's go to Vegas. Let's go to Vegas. I'm going to go with uh, Unique. He brings a different perspective to on a general team uh, from a, a, a media side or a, uh, you know, the different pictures he takes, the different, the different things he does. Uh, generally brings a different angle than a lot of people think of. He's an entrepreneur, basically. He likes to do everything. He's written books, he's done traveling, he's working with the Superman Museum, all kinds of things extra. Um, I would have to agree with that. I mean, he <laughs> never says no, and he's always, he's not afraid to tackle anything. You know, Unless it's I, a really big person. I think I would be safe saying that Rick enjoys uh, life. Uh, and doesn't make it completely about the truck. He takes time to look at the, the world around him as he's doing his job. And uh, in doing so, it brings a, uh, uh, a whole new perspective to uh, the life of a truck driver. Uh, everything about Rick, make, Rick that makes him unique. Uh, he likes uh, his side uh, businesses. He likes his side thoughts. Uh, um, work that he's doing with uh, Superman now is uh, amazing to me. I uh, wish I had a little more time to hear a little more about it. Um, and about that, uh, he, uh, he's really cool. You don't need any explanation for him what or something to do. If you tell him what needs to be done, he just takes the task and gets it done. You know that he's uh, loyal and that he is part of the team and if you get put into a, a heavy battle of some sort, uh, you know that he stands right alongside you in the trenches of that battle. Dr. Brick is uh, unique. He uh, has uh, unique perspectives. He's honest, um, he's dedicated, he's willing to uh, um, go above and beyond. Um, and uh, incredibly well. Um, once he's once he's put on a, a task, you know it'll get done. You know, Rick, I think he's a guy that I consider a friend, um, and that makes it incredibly easy for him to be a good teammate and coworker. Yeah, if I'm down and he happens to call me, he makes my day because things mm -hmm. like when well, he makes me see it that I can get through this. I think just his attitude and his personality as he. Uh, approaches his job and as he uh, works his job as part of life you know uh, and he combines uh, work and life to a, uh, a level that sometimes you're envious you wish that you could uh, have that uh, outlook on life all the time. I think Rick has a huge heart and cares for everybody he crosses. Uh, congratulations, Rick, on being one of the winners. Um, I guess to uh, explain my thoughts on, on uh, Rick, I, I, he's a well-deserving winner uh, as number one, a driver. He does his job very well, uh, and number two, as a person. Uh, you know, all the charitable things uh, that he does uh, on a daily basis, weekly basis, yearly basis, uh, for many good functions, is should be acknowledged as well. Um, so once again, thank you, Rick, for being a, a good driver and a good person. Congratulations on the award, Rick. It's well deserved. Congratulations, Rick. Love you, girls. Congratulations, Rick. Uh, you're very deserving of this award. Uh, I hope that you and I personally get to spend some more time together and uh, get to know one another better. And uh, again, congratulations, you're very deservative. Congratulations, Rick. The Dwayne County Pet Team Driver of the Year is one of the highest honors that we have. And I can't think of anybody more deserving than you. Congratulations, my friend. You are the best.
Christ, I swear. Thank you so much. <laughs> Give Kathy a hug for me. Come here, friend. Come here. Oh, I love you guys so much. I really do. Thanks. Oh, this is for, I'm going to take this for my dispatcher right there. Without her, there's no way I could ever did this. The, uh, the interesting part about all this is if I did call you unique and know how you come across. You're a brown nosing. You happen to tell somebody on Facebook that you're at some kind of like driver of the year thing. I wasn't sure what it was. You uh, were nonchalant about this. It's been 30 years. I've never gotten anything ever. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's amazing. I've never had a thing like this ever. You, my friend, are most deserving. You're, There's I, your box. I love you guys. I really do. Man, I thank you so much. Wow. Oh, my God. You guys are the best company ever in the world. I love you, man. Thanks so much. No, I appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Did you see Kathy on there? Yes. Val. Oh, my God. Hey, thank you. Love you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Ethan, I only had this two you, crown too. coats and my closing remarks were after Family Feud. I told Colin I was going to make mine before Family Feud so that nice. bartender pour me a drink. I'll need it in just a minute. <laughs> I guess they picked us to do a Family Feud or something. I don't know what we're going to be doing, so I'm going to take you guys up there with me. Let's go play some Family Feud. No drinks, no drinks. He's downstairs still? We can do it ourselves. We don't even, we can do it. Yeah! We can do it, let's win. Oh. Oh, round table discussion. Uh oh. You're on, you're on camera, let's go. Yeah, here, speaking to the mic, let's go. <laughs> Do we have yeah. a, do we have yeah. a name? We have Michael and we have Brianna. Team two, do you have a name? We should discuss this. Drivers. They're gonna discuss it. <laughs> drivers, drivers. Well, that's not fun. That's um, not fun. <laughs> Who the stick ships? Who the stick ships? Oh, so he gets to come up with the name, not us. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come for drinks. I the automatics. Hey. <laughs> Should we do the automatics? The automatics. We don't have sticks. Okay. We'll do the automatics. Okay. That's pretty good. There's a question. There's a certain amount of number or answers on the board. And uh, the first question. How do we buzz in? Yeah. That's a good question. So. We didn't have budger, buzzers in the budget, so we have the mini M&M &M tubes. So, <laughs> so for the first question, whoever brings in first with our little <laughs> is the team that will get to answer first. So, Jenny. I got tests first. Derek, okay. do you need to practice. test your bomber? Yeah, test. <laughs> I think it works. Yeah. So, there were nine answers on the board. What's something you keep in your car just in case? Oh, Derek. Brooms. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Let's see here. That answer is on the board. Food and Whoa. water is on the board. That's one of the nine. Would the automatics like to play or pass? Wait, don't I get to try to go one higher? Oh, yes, you do. Good point, good point. Okay. I'm going to toilet paper. In the car? Toilet paper. You can't go road tripping without toilet paper in the trunk. Toilet paper is not on the list. Food and water is the second top answer. So, what should again, we do? automatics. Would you like to play or pass? <laughs> Anyone else on the team, would you like to play or pass? We'll go for it. We'll go for it. You'll play? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see here. I can even change you guys your own microphone. This will be pretty cool. I won't have to do half the work. Okay, JJ. What's well, something you keep in your car, just in case? I don't have a car. <laughs> okay, what's well, something you keep in your truck, just in case? We surveyed 100 people. I don't know whose the survey was, but we surveyed 100 people. Water. Water? That's also food and water. Try again. He said booze, so that's booze the same category. <laughs> <laughs> At least around here, booze and water, same category. <laughs> 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 
Okay, ice scraper. Ice scraper. <laughs> okay, fine. Ice scraper. Clothes. That, that's hey, not, that's not in Florida. We live in Florida. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the audience says, booster tables. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 Jumper tables is on the board. Yes. Okay, hand that mic down to Rick. Rick, I, what's something you keep in your car just in case? I'm going to go tools. Tools? Spare tire tools. Spare tire is on the list. He said tools first. What is it? <laughs> I was thinking. So, Derek. Yeah. We have three answers off the board, so that means there's six left. What is something you keep in your car just in case? Do you have a car? JJ doesn't have a car right here. I actually acquired a 94 Taurus. Ooh! <laughs> Those are worth the cars I Okay. Well, what's something that you keep in your 94 Taurus? <laughs> <laughs> Blankets. Oh, we're gonna say that blankets is not on the board. That's oh my god. I, I'm gonna put an X on the uh, on the blankets. JJ, you're up. Yes. Will we get three? Yes. There's get three, three strikes. Like a baseball game. We need I one more. I don't teach you about sports, but three strikes. What's something you keep in your car just in case, JJ? Or your truck, or any vehicle, really. Dude, buggy. At this present time, a well charged phone. A well charged phone. That's a good one. That's a good answer, good answer, but that is not on the board. That is the second strike. I, I know what I'm I'll serve it up again. I'm on oil and water. Tickle hoppers. The automatics are, are down to two strikes. So, so, you, yeah, so you can think about, you know, You're if ready. Rick doesn't get this, you'll have a chance to steal. I'm good. Rick, what's something you keep in your car just in case? Oil, water, fluids. You know, fluids. Fluids. <laughs> fluids is not on the board. That'll be the third strike. Damn it. Okay, so. Dang it. So, tickle hoppers. You have about uh, six answers left on the board. What is something you keep in your car just in case? Hopefully she's not. We're going to go with spare change or money. Spare change, money, coins is the number one answer in the big oh, oh, yeah. It's your fault. I don't have no money. <laughs> We're just going to do I'm not, not over I don't want to do math. <laughs> so hand the poppers up to the next person. So JJ and Michael. Michael's ready to pop the poppers. Okay, so our second question of the oh, first Michael. round. A family feud. Michael, JJ. What was the rest of the board? Oh, yes, the rest of the board. Excuse me, I'm sorry. What? Steve Harvey wasn't a fool tonight. <laughs> obviously. Steve Harvey was Yes, obviously. Obviously, you do with your meat before you put it on the grill. Oh. Derek. We lost. Okay, so drivers versus office. We didn't have a chance. Not a chance. With that, thank you so much for playing. Let, we, it's adult beverage time, guys. Let's yes, go. Yes, it is adult beverage time. <laughs> so we I'm not, it's have free. To I know, but we'll just say you're buying. Give me Kurt. Give me Corey. Give me Kyle. Give me Gene. Give yeah. me Pam. Give me Desiree. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. You didn't beat your meat with that hand, shots, right? Please! <laughs> you really want that answer? No, I don't want that answer. I just I just shot like three minutes of video. Or rather did not shoot thinking I was recording. So uh, this is what the last three minutes was like since the thing wasn't recording. That just added like another 40 seconds there. So the evening was spectacular. I work for an incredible company, Cop Key Trucking. If any of you guys are out there are thinking about driving truck, grass doesn't get no greener than here. Uh, I walked away with the Distinguished Driver of 
of the year. Would you look at that? That is a piece of art, if I ever see one. Uh, it, it's amazing. I, I was almost speechless, almost. But that wasn't the only thing. I also would, you guys would have seen this also if I would have hit record. I also have the Award of Excellence here. The Quarterly, which is a beautiful plaque. Really heavy, nice, beautiful wood. But that's not the only thing. I also scored this here, which is the 10 year, which is a little bit bigger. This thing's massive. This is the 10 year award. But you look at that. How amazing. I, it, it's, I got a few other things, including a t shirt, and um, I got a, a wonderful feast. Got some adult beverages. I think it's about time to call it a night. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in tonight, uh, for putting up with me, helping me out throughout the year, helping me locate crazy, fun things to do while truck driving because most truck drivers just go to the warehouse, to the truck stops, warehouse truck stops. They don't get out and adventure. If you're out traveling around, you might as well adventure. And uh, because of you guys, that's the reason I do that. And uh, so I want to thank my company and I want to thank you guys for tuning in. So until the next time, from down the road, I am going to bid you fair adieu. And I will see you on the next one. Until then, peace out everybody.